mars, le Premier ministre a demandé que les pays euh, qui reçoivent ces enfants, à travers l'ambassade euh, présente ici en Haïti et son ambassadeur, doivent absolument confirmer et co-signer l'autorisation que les pays sont euh, d'accord, qu'ils qu ont été euh, dans, le, dans la préparation de, de ce, euh, de, des voyages de ces enfants, que le processus a été terminé, d'adoption a été terminée, et que les enfants, avant le tremblement de terre, figuraient déjà sur la liste des enfants orphelins qui pouvaient être adoptés. Approximately 500,000 people have left, have moved back either to their places of origin or uh, they have simply gone outside to decongest the city and uh, are seeking help outside. Uh, as you know, uh, they represent a, uh, a new great concern to us because they're going back to places that even pre-earthquake uh, were, were not uh, equipped uh, with uh, any kind of resources to support them. Sanitation. Uh, there, the situation is truly critical. Only 5% of the requirements in latrines uh, were covered so far. UNICEF has launched uh, an appeal to get more latrines in, and finding solutions in an over-congested city in order to uh, to open new latrines uh, in public places. Okay. The concern now, obviously, is the rainy season uh, that is about to come. So, uh, regarding shelter, we are now considering the, uh, the setting up of uh, some hazard resistant or hurricane proof type of shelter. This is obviously a more, um, uh, a better solution, a more costly one, and probably it would take longer to bring them in here. Uh, we would uh, recall that the port facilities are not operating. And um, basically, these equipment are very heavy, and they would need the port uh, to be open, so to be able to bring them in. Otherwise, bring them in by uh, planes would have an enormous cost.